Hey, all you candy sluts and bubble butts, it's Shelby here. Um, today is a very special day. On the 4th of June, we are celebrating Candy Girl's fourth birthday. We're super excited. You know, we started this show to give a platform to sex workers so they can share their experiences and hopefully educate those who are unfamiliar with the space so they can become more knowledgeable and, you know, hopefully grow as individuals. Cactus thought to celebrate today, we could put together a little audio montage of some of our favorite moments over the past few years. We've had so many incredible guests and we've learned so much about the industry and sexuality and queerness and how to be better activists and prejudice and, you know, so many different forms of sex work and what it means to people who both perform it and consume it. And it's been so eye-opening and incredible. And we feel so grateful for everyone who has been on the show because all of them have taught us something and we are better people for knowing them. So thank you so much. And without taking up too much time, here's a little episode to celebrate the show and all the people who have made it. My name is Alexis Spem. My name is Callie Mack. My name is Goddess Siriana. You can call me Siriana. I'm Nia Lister. Tiffany Duncan. That's my name. Mistress Kiki. Hello. My name is Sophia the Goddess. I'm from Canada. Hi, I'm Madame Skin. I have been an adult performer for a few years, <laughs> but now I also do music. I also I write and perform songs, and I also work as a dominatrix. So my name is Madame Kelly Provocateur. I am a adult fetish star and professional dominatrix and professional fitness model. <laughs> My name is Gwena Dora. I am a role play clip artist, adult content creator, influencer type of person. I don't think that I get a vibe that you are a certain gender or that you're trying to fit in a mold. There's definitely this uniqueness about you and I like it's just so inspiring and also I really want to frolic in a field with you <laughs> like yeah. that we have dreams <laughs> and I will make it happen what are what are the most sexual ways to talk about the plant life cycle do y'all know that I don't know if you guys have ever seen Grease 2 with Michelle Pfeiffer <gasps> oh <my> God, please. <laughs> I was they just listening to the soundtrack today I have no idea no what joke. they're talking about <laughs> The, it's one of the worst remakes of Grease, but it's supposed to be like in the future in the eighties and like okay, could take to you, please. But they I they have hear. they have a song about plants. It's called Reproduction. It's about reproduction. Reproduction, reproduction. Put my statement to the test. Reproduction is so good. That's yes, how you make plants sexual do is whatever they did in Greece too during the reproduction song. There you go. <laughs> if you look at flowers, flowers look like vaginas. Like, and all vaginas are so different and unique to their own, and they're so beautiful. And when you look at flowers, they're exactly like that. And with a lot of fruit as well. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I love incorporating flowers and fruit into my work, because it embodies this part of me, you know? And I want everyone to just like love their bodies because Bodies are so beautiful and special and, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> this this was my choice and this is something I'm proud to do. And I, I make content that satisfies people's cardinal need. I scratch certain itches that, you know, people can't actually talk about. I'll, I'll be candid. I've actually had a couple people approach me to make custom content regarding pegging and they were like this is not something that I've ever been able to really talk about with a partner and I'm glad that you know I could come to you with this um and and make me more comfortable and, and see that this really is you know something that shouldn't be so stigmatized it's things like this podcast and my podcast and like so many other things that are made by sex workers that I think 
are the most important. And whenever something becomes mainstream, like the Selling Sex documentary by ABC that's like on Hulu, it becomes a watered down version of the truth. What kind of music do you play at those parties? Oh, I guess it's been all over the board. It's been anything from like, you know, 80s to, um, I've heard like techno, I've heard, you know, some hip hop, or it just, it's all over the board, all over the board. None of those are songs I would have expected. I guess somewhere in my mind when I think Party in a Dungeon, it's like just Count Dracula playing <laughs> an organ. <laughs> wait, what's Count Dracula playing? What song is that? <laughs> That's what I imagine in a dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it would probably be so easy to get in your head and just fuck with you. Please, I'm begging you, come to Denver. <laughs> I need you to again fix my daddy issues, choke me, <laughs> and fuck with me. Thank you. <laughs> you that's and that's okay when we go back to like favorite things to do that's one of my favorite things like I love finding that little thing that just I'm like a little like you know how you're kind of bratty I'm kind of bratty in that that way too I don't know if it's right like I'm like an antagonist do our hot girl shit together and we grow together I've been able to meet some really wonderful people even during coronavirus we've been getting tested everything but like you know collaboration was for me, a part of the job that I really started to enjoy once I started to do it. Sometimes I'll go and meet girls and I won't know them at all, but I'm very gay and they're also gay, I hope. Like, and we're gay together for business. And I feel like that's a great deal. And when that deal started to like manifest itself, I was like, we should, I just want to be friends with all of you. And I'm very lucky that I've been able to meet like the most wonderful people even in my city and from out of town because the internet is so incredible people will hit me up and be like or tell me that they're going to be in my city from god knows where and I can do the same because we make money by being gay so that we can go visit each other it's a never-ending cycle it's amazing I only want to live in this cycle (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she she she's done this with uh some of her other clients but it's it's what she likes to call a flesh taco basically what that involves wait wait before you continue mm-hmm. i just want shelby and i to comment on what we think that is yes because i want I, you to guess what you I, th- oh, I have love that. no idea and i'm probably gonna get it really wrong mm-hmm. but hear me out so taco kind of looks like a vagina so what if it's taking like small pieces of skin near that or like putting something like in, but I feel like a dom would it hmm. Yeah, because flesh taco. What do you think? Do you think it's something you eat or like put in your mouth? Or? <laughs> then you stack three naked people on top of each other. <laughs> it's like planking, but you're naked. <laughs> No, actually, Emily, you had it exactly right. Ah, No way! Basically, it's taking the loose skin of one's nutsack, stretching it out over the penis, and then getting one of those medical-grade staplers and stapling it shut so that you have basically a makeshift pussy. (laughs) God! So I was in like a little corridor off to the side of the dungeon and then there's the dungeon. So guy comes in, they're doing just like other stuff for like half an hour. I'm just kind of putzing around. I don't really remember. I was drinking a LaCroix or something. Um, Did they have LaCroix in the dungeon? They do. There's a little fridge. <laughs> in the back. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Shelby, we need to find a dungeon. Help us find a dungeon. Holy, okay, continue, continue. Sorry, I just. There you go. Oh my god, there are similarities between dungeons and tech companies. Like, (laughs) of course there are. (laughs) Emily, of course. Who would have known? Earlier, you mentioned a pit sandwich, and I'd really like to bring it back to that. Like, can we digest this for a second? Like, eat the pit sandwich. 
Yeah, but but before y'all go, um, I have no idea what that term means. So let me tell you what I think it is. If I had to guess, um, I think it's like like if two or like maybe multiple people have their arms up and they like squish them together. And then the sandwich part still kind of confuses me. Do you put the penis in between? Well, I was thinking like maybe the tongue. I don't really know how like genitals oh, get involved here. Yeah. Um, so did I nail it? <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. You hit the the what is it, the the nail with the hammer. On the head. You I hit, hit something. <laughs> yeah, bullseye, bingo. Uh yeah, that's hundred percent what it is. It was it was more it's what it's not a BDSM scene it was more of a oh wait that was actually correct yeah 100 percent correct yeah. oh my goodness yeah that's... yeah so it's two different people's armpits and then there's a penis in the middle i just don't think people are comfortable with intimacy period like outside of sex so that definitely does not translate to sex and if you know my background like um you know I, i'm an activist i'm an organizer i started in ethnic studies in san francisco and so like my background is in like teaching like critical race in addition to sucking dick, my background is in teaching uh, anti-racism. The goddess, the dominatrix, is actually really working, serious work, doing my part in changing minds and teaching and educating people that, you know, our, the color of our skin is, should not be of any significance at this point, and especially in, in a country so big and so broad and so amazing, you know. Shelby, do you want to wrap this up now? Yes. <laughs> Aspiring whore, go where no man has gone before. <laughs> Slut passing. Slut passing. Yes. Yeah. You have so many good taglines. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us. We absolutely loved having you. Thank you so much for talking with us. I feel like we got to learn so much. Thank you so much for being on the show. And we will hear from you, Candy Sluts and Bubble Butts, next week. Stay sweet.